Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do loaf cutting. I'm going to chop up some vintage Chic Sense loaves that I have. That I've These have been sitting around for a while. I finally need to cut them up. I actually already cut one up. This is the empty tin right here. I heated them all up in advance um, just so I don't have to do it one by one. I did 30 seconds on one side, flipped it over, and did another 30 seconds. Um, this one I accidentally forgot about and it like heated a little too long and I had to stop it and I melted it too I melted it too much. It still worked out fine, but I just cut it right away instead of on camera. Um, I decided I don't really like this scent. Just from smelling it after heating it up a little bit, it's pillow talk. I don't know. I don't I'm gonna have to melt a piece, but I think I might de-stash this, which is sad. I think I might sell it. I don't want to keep it and hang on to it. It's a decent amount. It's a half of a loaf right here. So um you're going to see me, I'm sitting, you can see my, my foot right there, you'll see my black socks, and I'm wearing lounge pants, which are butterflies. Yeah, I'm like super nerdy right now. Um, and we're going to do some loaf cutting, so I'm just going to set that right over there for now. I cut them in pretty big pieces, because if I do melt them, um, I like them, I don't know, I would melt those bigger pieces. I don't like to use the tiniest amount of wax with vintage chic scents, I feel like I need to use more, um, but that's just me. Also, I don't want to chop them up into teeny tiny pieces and then um, sell it and then someone has a whole bunch of teeny tiny pieces that end up in crumbs. Normally, I like to put my wax back in these tins and then put the tin in the bag, um, but I'll probably do that for my full loaves, but I do have another half loaf here that I'm going to start with to show you kind of how I chop things up. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, um, she does, when you order from Vintage Chic Sense, she sends you a bakery bag. I'm not a huge fan of bakery bags. Um, they take up too much room. I like the fact that I can, I mean, uh, why use a bakery bag when I can use a perfectly good bag here? I would rather save those bakery bags for, like, if my bag cracks or breaks or, I don't know, something larger, maybe. I, I have a ton of not like a ton, but I have probably like 10 to 12 bakery bags that I haven't used that are in a drawer somewhere in my like wax storage here. So if you're new, ouch, that was my foot. Um, if you're new, this is vendor wax and I'm going to show you just how I chop up these loaves. I'm, I don't do anything super fancy. I'm not any. I don't do anything special. I do it a little bit differently than most people do. I don't, I don't, I don't normally like to chop them up the long, like the long way, like I did for this one, but this is just a half loaf. So I don't know. I might do the same thing for this one. This is the label. So it comes in this bag in that tin and this is the Joanna or Johanna, Johanna, however you like to say it. I can't help but say Joanna, even though I'm pretty sure it's Johanna. Um, Johanna Imbeds in Sweeney's Barbershop Overpour. This is like a minty blend, sh sh minty shaving cream blend. And you can kind of see this loaf is pretty. I'm actually not going to store this one back in the tin. So I, I would like to just get rid of the tins and throw them away. So that's what it looks like here. So normally I like to do it this way. Um, most people would chop from the top and then chop this way as well. Well, not like that, but they keep them the long all the way to the top, to the bottom, from the top to the bottom. If that makes sense to you, whatever, I will show you. <laughs> I'll show you what I like to do. And this is, this is probably not the greatest to do with this loaf, but I'm going to do it anyway. You can probably see that pink probably represents one cent and this gr uh, gray represents like the overpour, you know, that type of thing. I should have grabbed something to drink. <clears throat> I have really bad allergies right now, so I might have to pause. Whoa, this feels pretty toasty in the middle. That went down pretty easily. So I like to go diagonally down um, just to split it from the top to the bottom. Yeah, that's like melty. Melty in the middle. We'll just cram that baby back in there. And then from here, that's when I will go in probably fours, like this. Normally I would be able to then, like when I'm all done, stack this on top and then put it back in the tin. 
that's how I like to do it, but I'm not going to because this just isn't enough wax to really need to do that. So I'm just going to do it this way. Sorry, flower. And do I want to do two or do I want to do three? Hmm. Decisions. Gosh, that seems large, but I'm going to do it anyway. So there you have it. That would be a piece that I would melt. When I think about like, oh, that looks like two super tarts cubes and you only really need one. Well, it's different for vintage chic scents, but yeah, I would rather just keep them in these big pieces and then just go from there. So that's it for this one. How exciting. And then I'm just going to toss them in here. The bottom was kind of messy. That's it. Now I can finally get to melting these. These pieces do look kind of big. I don't know about that. Now that I'm looking at like this one, I'm like, oh, that's kind of big. Maybe I should chop that in half. I always can later. I'll start with like one of the small pieces and see exactly how much I need to cut. At least I know it's cut and I can, you know, get, get going on melting it. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to cut so many loaves. I'm just wiping this off with a paper towel. I find that if I don't wipe this off, the sticky wax that's in here actually will stick to the wax that I'm like currently cutting and it will make it um, not as smooth of a cut. Okay, next one is Marshmallow Man. That's actually what I call my cat Felix. I call him Marshmallow and I call him my little Marshmallow Man. And I also call him Marshy. He has lots of nicknames. So here we go. So here you're gonna see, if I microwave this long enough, what I typically do. Perfect. And you know, there's really no right or wrong way to cut a loaf. It can be messy, it can be crumbly. Don't let anyone make you feel bad if you're not the best at cutting. Because I know I'm not, so. If you don't like how I cut my loaves, shut your mouth. All right. Half? Did I do thirds? I wish I could like go back and um, refer back to what I did. Pretty sure I went in half. And I think I did half and half. That's what I'm going to do. Except I'm going to do the whole bottom first. This one's kind of crumbly with these like long pieces. I don't know if I'm going to like this scent. It's just a marshmallow scent. I heard it's pretty strong, but I just don't know. If I'm going to like this particular marshmallow scent, this is, I don't know, this is probably not satisfying. I know some people watch my other loaf cuttings and they're like, oh, it's so satisfying to watch like, the even pieces go cleanly back into the, did I cut that or did that happen itself? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, oh my, oh yeah, I did cut that in half. Duh. Um, some people want to see like all the pieces and then some people want to see it like like that puzzle pieces together is that satisfying for you guys it's like wax porn so then i like to put them back in it's a little weird for those of you who are not ocd pack it all in there let's do the same for the top yeah so how are you guys doing I can't really think when I cut wax. I don't know why you'd think that you'd be able to like multitask easily, but it's a lot, it's a lot harder than it seems 
like it would be I feel like this is a decent size you know like that's a that's a good piece of wax to melt I don't know why my other one like those ones ended up so thick looking oh well so I'm gonna try this and if I don't like it I will just de-stash the rest um, at least it will be not super messy for someone that you know I have to well say that I pre-cut it but I don't want to keep anything I'm not in love with so if I just like it but I don't love it I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it I just don't you know I don't I don't want to hang on to things I'm not in love with I'm trying to be more conscious of my spending I really don't want to buy much more wax like until I really significantly decrease my collection so there's that and um gosh that's not gonna be for a while I would like to fit everything into my three like um one two three four five seven seven drawer units this next one is blue Christmas that smells really nice um I don't want to have any other storage I, I don't want to I, I want to just have it in these three units and that's including my Bath and Body Works candles that I want to chop up so I don't know that that's going to happen anytime soon but I will continue to work on it I'm you know I'm slowly de-stashing there's so many things that I have that I haven't even tried and that just I, I don't know, one day I just came to this realization where I was like, what am I doing? Like, I have all of this wax that I haven't even tried yet. I don't even know if I like it. Um, and I'm hanging on to it and hoarding it. And I haven't even tried it yet. I don't even, like, really know if it throws. I don't know if it's something that I like. A lot of the time, I try, I've been hoarding something and I try it and I don't even like it. And then you try and figure out a D-stash. I try to do, like, a fruity one or a bakery one or sometimes a variety of vendors that oh, wasn't the most even was it that's okay but I you know I I ordered that Dave Ramsey book that um money saving that really popular one I can't remember the name of it right now but I ordered that and I'm gonna start reading that and I really want to pay off my debts. I don't have, I have a, I have student loans and I actually, I, I, I have a lease on a car. So I can't really, I don't know how to consider that as far as like a debt goes. In August, I have to decide if I want to buy my car or not. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I want to because I have used like hardly no miles on it. So it's actually valued higher than what they anticipated, you know, because they anticipated me spending or using some, however many miles. So it would actually be buying it, like the buyout, for probably better than, more than it's worth. So for that reason, I want to buy it. But then at the same time, I just kind of want to sign a new lease. So I don't really know. I used to always own a car. And I'm not one that needs something super fancy either. But um, it is nice having a, a brand new car. It's nice having a lease where you don't have to think about it. You know, you don't have to worry about something going wrong with it. I'm kind of like off to the side over here, so I'm sorry. Whoa. My hand doesn't work that way. There's that one. Blue Christmas. I feel like this is my favorite one that I've smelled so far because I'm a really big peppermint fan. There's only one more to cut, so it's not that exciting. But you can kind of see like just what I do for my cutting. Everybody has their own method. This is just easiest for me. So this is marshmallow milk glass. When I was heating this up, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I don't know. I'm, I don't know about this one. I think it really needs to melt a lot more for me to make a decision. But what an ugly color, too. <laughs> it's a super ugly color. Um. Anyway, so back to... What the hell... Um, this was the first one I heated up, I think, so it's a little tougher. <clears throat> anyway, so I have two credit cards 
that I want to pay off. And one of them, my goal is just to pay it off by the end of this month. I've been working on it for a very long time. When I graduated from college, I didn't have a job and I, um, I spent all my time trying to, well, I signed up as a, a as a temp, a temp hygienist when I graduated because I thought, oh yeah, I'll temp, I'll get experience. Well, this temp agency didn't give me any work. So I sat around and I waited on call to, to work. This was years ago. And I had to live off a credit card, which is a terrible thing at the time, but I didn't want to like go get another job. My school was, it was, you were in school all the time. You could hardly work. So I was only part-time. And then eventually toward the end of school, I quit my part-time job and was just doing school. And my boyfriend and I broke up the summer after I graduated and like for sure we graduated, we actually broke up a month before I graduated. It was like the hardest, most stressful time of my life. And he broke up with me and then we got back together and then we broke up again the following summer. But anyway, um, I lived off a credit card. So I had this huge credit card when I finally got a job, about like permanent, permanent accepted a position about six months after I graduated. Um, well, no, it wasn't even six months, maybe four months after I graduated. I had a big credit card and I've been working really hard and diligently at paying it off, but not as hard as I could have been. Like I could, you know, I could have been spending, instead of spending money on wax, I could have been paying that off a lot sooner. So I'm finally going to pay it off this month. I'm very proud of myself and I'm excited. And then I have one other credit card, which I use a lot for big things like my cat's vet bills that are very expensive. I also did buy, my sister and I like to go to Taylor Swift concerts. That's kind of our thing. I bought Taylor Swift tickets with that. And, um, yeah, I need to, I want to concentrate on paying that one off. I thought about doing videos on it, like showing you guys the total and then specifically like what small things I'm doing to pay it off because it's not going to be like, I, I make payments on it. I pay $300 a month onto each one, but, um, I don't know. I don't know if anyone would even be interested in seeing that because it's probably not that exciting. Like if I had a lot, if I had a huge credit card and I had all these different means of finding, you know, things to sell and all of that, and there was a lot of activity going on, then I would show it because you'd be able to see like, oh, she made $25 doing this and 150 doing that. And look at this total going down and you could, you know, like other people will do, they'll show you that, but I don't have a lot of activity going on to really show you the progress that I'm making. So I don't know how exciting that would be. So it's probably not going to be that exciting. So anyway, let me put these into frame here. So I do typically like to keep them in, in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them in here until I try them. And if I like them, I'm going to take the tin out and then not worry about like how messy it gets. If I don't like them after I melt like a piece, then I will de-stash it like this so it's not super messy for someone. And if they want a bakery bag too, I can send them a bakery bag if they don't want to keep it in this. So that's that. Some people will take out the tin so they'll have their wax in this bag, but they'll actually still put this bag in the bakery bag. That's just overkill for me. I mean, maybe, but maybe I would do that if I was shipping it to someone, but I don't know. I don't think you need both. So that's, that's it. Thanks for watching if you decided to watch this. Um, I don't really know how popular these videos are. I know it's, I like to watch them. I, for some reason, excuse me, I'm hiccups. I find it soothing to watch people cut wax. I find it soothing to cut wax, but I find it more soothing to cut wax when I'm doing it silently, like, or I'm watching TV or something where it's just like my, I'm mindlessly doing it. Because like I said, it's for some reason it's hard to multitask and like talk at the same time that you're cutting a loaf of wax. I don't know. Try it sometime. <laughs> Record yourself and tell me how you do. Uh, yeah. If I mentioned anything or I, you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try and get back to you. Oh, I do want to mention YouTube has updated and like my phone is doing automatic updates for some reason. I shut that off because it's screwing things up, but it's not telling me when you guys are commenting. So I have to like go into the video and actually like search for new comments. So if I'm not responding back, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to get it to work. Um, I've tried changing my settings a few times. Um, I'm hoping that they'll come up with a new app, like update, but YouTube has had issues for a while, not letting people know when they're 
like subscribers are commenting so there have been a, a, a few complaints and I don't know if they've really made an effort to fix it or not so we'll see but I appreciate you watching I will see you guys in my next video bye